Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about my anticipated releases for 2022 and find out whether or not I actually read them. So I've got me synced up over here from last year's video and we're going to watch it together and find out if I actually read any of these books. And if I did read them, what did I rate them? First is Luminaries number one by Susan Dennard. So we don't necessarily know what the title of this book's gonna be. It may be The Luminaries, I don't know for sure. This is a book series that Susan had an idea for a really long time ago and she turned into like this choose your own adventure Twitter story and it's Susan Dennard so I am hyped. Uh, I have read The Luminaries. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I own well, I've purchased four copies, but only two of them have made it here so far. The other book that I don't have a date for, but I know is going to be like in the second half of the year, is The Glass Witch by Lindsay Puckett, who is a fellow author tuber who I will link down below in the description box. Uh, the Glass Witch, have read it, gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars also. Continuing on with a little bit of mid-grade, now I'm going by date, but I mean, if we can lump them together, by all means lump them together. Witch Lanes by Clarabel A. Ortega. Also read 4.75 out of 5 stars. So far my brain knew exactly what it wanted to read. On February 22nd we have Full Flight by Ashley Shoemaker who wrote one of my favorite books this year. Yeah, Full Flight. Um, I decided not to pick up uh, for emotional purposes. Uh, with the year that I had I don't and with the content of what I know the book can contains. I don't think it's something that I can handle um, emotionally, so I chose not to read it uh, based off of that alone. I really loved Amelia Unabridged and I think it was a fantastic story, but I don't think I would read that now either with where I'm at emotionally. So she writes fantastic books, but maybe not if you're in the same point in life that I'm in. On May 3rd we get Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Don't know what it's about, but I've loved her first two books, so I'm here for it. Book Lovers I've read and also gave a 4.75 out of 5 stars. On May 17th we get Adult Assembly Required by Abby Waxman. I read it and gave it a 4.25 out of 5 stars. May 31st is The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna who wrote The Gilded Ones. Um, it is the sequel to this which I loved and I need to know how it ends so excited. I DNF'd it. I don't remember what the percentage was, but uh, it was real bad. On July 19th, we get Young Bloods by Sasha Lawrence, who wrote one of my favorite books of this year, and that was A Wicked Magic. Don't know what this one's about, but I'm here for it because I really enjoyed the first book by that author and I want to read more. Read it. 4.25 out of 5 stars. Next on July 26th is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. That is the sequel to A Legend Born have not read it but I do own it and I do plan to read it still. So. On August 2nd we have Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. If you've been here before you know I love Adrienne Young like everything she writes. I haven't picked it up. Will pick it up. There was another book by Adrienne that came up this year. Uh, Saint that is part of her uh, fable verse. I don't think I'm gonna pick that one up despite the fact that I do typically love the things that she writes. Um, I recently read the Last Legacy. I guess recently I read it in July, uh, but I read The Last Legacy, which is also part of that world, and I just was not sold on it. So uh, I probably won't pick up Saint, but I do still plan to pick up Spells for Forgetting. August 9th, we get These Fleeting Shadows by Kate Alice Marshall. Again, don't know what it's about, but I read Rules for Vanishing earlier this year, and it was like one of the absolute creepiest books I've ever read. Uh, read it. 4.75 out of 5 stars. Loved it. Have read three more books, not including that one by A.K. Alice Marshall this year, that were mid-grade, that were spooky, that was fantastic. Best time ever. Absolutely. 100%. Auto by author. And the last book we're going to talk about is also on August 9th, and that is Blood Like Fate by Lizelle Sanberry. It is the sequel to this glorious book, Blood Like Magic. I had an arc of Blood Like Fate and read it, loved it. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Fantastic duology. Cannot recommend enough. So much good. All the win. So of the 12, I've read nine of them. 
well, I read eight, DNF'd one, chose not to pick up one, and haven't yet read two. Uh, so I think that's actually really good considering all the ones that I did read, other than the one I DNF'd, I rated over a four. So that means I, my most anticipated for the most part, I really enjoyed and knew exactly what I wanted to read. I mentioned in that video that I had like a list of my most anticipated releases for 2022. Um, on Goodreads, like an entire Goodreads shelf. And I'll link that down below for you as well if you want to go through and see if I read any of the others that I was looking forward to this year. I think my full list was around like 47, um, but I just wanted to talk about like the 12 main ones in that video. Um, so that's what we went over. But if you want to know like more of the other ones that I was on, that were on my radar, you can check out the link down below for my Goodreads shelf. Let me know in the comments below if you read any of these, if you picked them up, if you enjoyed them, or if not, that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, including what we're currently doing, which is Advent, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!